Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this card making paper crafting tutorial. This is the card I have to show you today. It's a very simple autumnal card change, can be beautiful. I think it can be appropriate for many different occasions, and I love all these autumnal colours here. So, let me show you how I made it. So, this is a variation on a panel card, and the design series paper I'm using here is called Splendid Autumn. And this piece measures um, nine and a half centimeters by twelve point eight five centimeters. But all the measurements will be on the blog post, and you can find the link to that in the description box below. So I'm going to cut this piece of paper into three panels along the long side, and each one is going to measure roughly um, four point three centimeters. So I've got one there. I'm going to keep them in the same order that I had them. And then we've got these there. Okay. So now our card base is Cajun Craze, and it is a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half. Then I've got a piece of basic white for the insert, and this measures 14.35 by 10. So let's put this on the inside. really simply now I've got here a piece of basic not basic balmy blue cardstock same measurement as the basic white and now we're going to stick our pieces here so we've got our bottom piece here and then I'm going to stick the top one hopefully be able to get an even amount around each piece yeah that will do fine okay <coughs> whoops there we go so now let's stick this down to our card base Just like that. Okay. And now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So let's set that aside. <coughs> Stamps that I'm going to use is called Autumn Expressions, and we're going to use Change Can Be Beautiful. Now I'm going to use again the Splendid Autumn Designer Series paper. I'm going to use a piece of my scrap here. So this is sort of a crushed curry colour, and I'm going to use this piece of scrap. So let's stamp. I'm going to stamp in Early Expresso. Let's look this up nicely. Try and get everything straight, all straightish. And then down, hold. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Close the powering pad. And I'm going to clean this stamp as I go. And I don't want any unexpected disasters. Now I'm just going to trim my sentiment down using my trimmer. So let's just see how far we want. I just do this by eye. Um, yeah, that looks good enough for me. It's going to be fine. Well, maybe not. Let's just take a little bit more off, I think. That way we can have a little border around it. Okay. Yeah, that's a okay. I'm gonna use the trimmer aside, and I just keep all my scraps in the front of my designer series paper like this, so they're all kept together really easily. And I just found these wallets on e not even on Amazon, I think actually. So now I'm just going to take a piece of balmy blue cardstock. And we're just going to adhere this down. And don't be afraid to stamp on designer series paper. 
it looks great and this is a great way to use up all of your scraps there's nothing better than using up your scraps okay <clears throat> so let's just cut this out and you know me I do it freehand live on the wild side yeah that'll do me and now I'm going to adhere this just to the front of the card well, let's see if we can add some little extra layering pieces see what scraps I've got here that would work I'm looking at this piece here oh, not sure let's have a look and see what else we've got yeah so what I'm going to do is just use my trimmer <coughs> not going to really measure anything um, I'm just going to cut a little bit, just making, just layering up a bead piece basically, <clears throat> very random, just so we have a piece underneath here, just a bit of a layer coming out the sides, so let's stick this down as well. Just going to put this roughly just like that, and then I'm going to put that there. That'll be fine, I think. So let's pop this up, I think, on some dimensionals. What do you say? <coughs> let's get those out. And as you know, I'm generous with my dimensionals. I don't want this sagging when it goes to the post. So let's do that. Let's take all these backings off. And this is a good time to say, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. As I said, you can find all the information about the project on the blog post. And you can find those links and my social media links in the description box below. So there we go. Finishing touches. Going to use some rhinestones. And I'm just going to take one of these. And I'm just going to put it on the <coughs> eye of the beautiful. The dot of the eye. And there we have our two cards. Two different patterns of paper. Same style. I hope you liked them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. So thank you again. Until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.